Hey, good morning everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar and in today's video, we are going to troubleshoot a problem. We couldn't able to add any more Kubernetes master machine or Kubernetes control plane into Kubernetes cluster HA environment because etcd is not healthy or giving the timeout error during the HA cluster installation. Let's begin. For the demonstration, I am using HA proxy machine as a load balancer and these are Kubernetes master machine 201, 202, 203. This is my HA proxy or Kubernetes cluster HA URL. At this moment, load balancer URL is down because we haven't installed or start Kubernetes service on master machine. These are my three master machine 01, 02, 03 and I am using the vagrant to host my virtual machine. I have already installed the Kubernetes components and start the docker service on all three master machine. Now I am going to configure or initiate a Kubernetes cluster on my environment. I am going to initiate the Kubernetes cluster on master 01 machine. I am using the my load balancer or HA proxy URL for the control plane endpoint and I am using the node IP address for my API server. I am not going to be explained in detail how to set up Kubernetes cluster HA in this video. Let's go ahead and initiate a Kubernetes cluster. My first master machine successfully added into Kubernetes cluster HA environment. Let's add second machine in Kubernetes cluster. Second master machine also successfully added into Kubernetes cluster HA. Let's verify. Yes, master 01 and master 02. Now let's try to add third master machine into Kubernetes cluster. Before adding the third machine into Kubernetes cluster HA, let's verify the endpoint on both the master machine. Kubernetes endpoint is up and online on the both master machine node 1 and node 2. Let's verify the load balancer URL. Yes, load balancer URL is also up and online and it is pointing to master 1 and master 2 machine. Now let's add third and last machine into Kubernetes HA environment. Now you can see here installation process got stuck in check etcd process. It is checking the etcd cluster configuration has been failed with the error etcd cluster is not healthy. Let's troubleshoot. If you look at this message carefully, it is trying to connect the endpoint on 10.0.2.15. This is not IP address. I want to call the endpoint. Let's pull down member list from etcd data store. etcd ports is running for master 1 and master 2. Let's try to connect one of them. This command will list down the member list. And you will see very interesting information there. If you compare peer address and client address between node 1 and node 2, in node 1, it is picking up correct node IP address, whereas for the second node, it is picking up the wrong IP address. Let me show you the IP address on second node. If you notice that on the Vagrant machine, ETH0 Ethernet card represent to NAT and ETH1 Ethernet card represent the node IP address. So let me tell you what is happening here. Second master machine 
added into Kubernetes cluster with net IP address. This problem mostly occurs when you have multiple IP address configured on your machine, especially on EC2 machine where you have private IP address and public IP address or you have dedicated IP address for the CNI like Celico and your default IP address is not routable. It is happening in this condition also. When the second node tried to add into Kubernetes cluster, it called etcd cluster on the client address and peer address. Since node 1 configured with the correct IP address or routable IP address into etcd cluster, hence node 2 successfully connected etcd cluster. Now what happened when node 3 called etcd cluster on this IP address to check health since this IP address is not routable hence health check failed for the node 3. So what do you need? You need to change peer address and client address with the routable IP address. This is the one way you can update peer address on runtime. You can see here peer address successfully updated with the routable IP address but I don't recommend it this approach let me tell you second approach cube adm use this manifest file to set up the etcd cluster and you can see here this file pick up default ip address or non routable ip address either you can modify this file with routable or node ip address or rerun cube adm join cluster command i would prefer rejoining the kubernetes cluster first we require to reset kubernetes cluster on second node we need to delete couple of the files Now what you will do this time, you will define the node IP address explicitly to API server so that cube ADM can configure the peer and client address with the routable IP address. Let's go ahead and add the node into Kubernetes cluster. Let's execute the command. Okay, second node has been successfully added into Kubernetes cluster. Let's verify. Yes, node 2 successfully added. Let's verify the endpoint for the second node in etcd cluster. Let's execute the query to get a member list. Yes, this time second master machine added with correct IP address for peer and client address in etcd cluster. Now let's go ahead and try to add third node in a cluster. We are explicitly define the node IP address in API advertise address so that endpoint can be set up with the correct IP address. Let's go ahead and add this machine in cluster yes this time third machine successfully added into the cluster without any error let's confirm yes i can see third machine in kubernetes cluster let's verify the endpoint for the node 3 in the etcd cluster This time, endpoint for peer and client address added successfully with the routable IP address. These are few troubleshooting steps you can perform 
in ETCD cluster if you encounter such problem when you are not able to add any more control plane or Kubernetes master in a cluster. In this video, that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.